Our spirit was broken there for a while when we were put on these reservations. There was a lot of stuff that just happened to us that wasn't good. We're not gonna forget what happened to us, but I think it's important to forgive. We can't stay angry our whole lives, and we gotta be in control of our own destiny. There are over 300 Indian reservations scattered across the United States, home to an estimated 1.8 million Native Americans. It was late September 2008 when Transworld Sport headed to one of the biggest, the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. Established in 1868 as part of the Great Sioux Reservation, it was here that arguably the single most brutal act of aggression by U.S. forces against this land's indigenous population took place. What came to pass at Wounded Knee has come to symbolize all the wrongs that were inflicted upon the American Indians. On the 29th of December, 1890, it's estimated that over 300 Lakota Sioux were indiscriminately killed by the 7th Cavalry. The massacre of members of Chief Bigfoot's tribe happened as they were making their way across the plains to meet up with Chief Red Cloud, following the murder of Chief Sitting Bull by government agents. The massacre of Wounded Knee on the Pine Ridge Reservation remains one of the most barbaric and tragic events in U.S. history. Pine Ridge is home to over 30,000 members of the Oglala Lakota Sioux Tribe. Covering an area roughly the size of the state of Connecticut, it's an isolated place of both majestic beauty and abject poverty. It's considered to be the poorest part of the United States, with around 85% unemployment, and the average family income is little more than $6,000 a year. When it comes to sport, basketball is by far the most popular here, as it is on most Indian reservations. Many tribes promote the sport and see it as a way of keeping native youths away from the problems of drugs and alcohol, which blight so many of their communities. When Transworld Sport made the trip to Pine Ridge, one of the first people we spoke to was Jerome LeBeau, a spiritual leader or medicine man on the Pine Ridge Reservation. Pine Ridge and almost every reservation that I travel to, almost at every home is a basketball hoop. I mean, on this reservation unit, this is one of the poorest, if not the poorest county in the US. They might not have anything at their house, but one thing they'll have is a basketball hoop and a basketball. Um, basketball is almost, is almost a religion, is almost life here we discovered how the popularity of basketball had grown over the years as reservation teams became more and more competitive at the high school level. Red Cloud High School was founded on Pine Ridge in 1888 by Jesuit priests at the request of Chief Red Cloud, who saw that his people's traditional way of life was coming to an end. Red Cloud have long enjoyed a proud basketball tradition. In 1995, led by Jerome LeBeau, they won the South Dakota State Championship. Fast forward 13 years, and Jerome found himself actively involved with the sport at Red Cloud as coach of the girls' team. In 2007, the Lady Crusaders had reached the state championship. The young team finished in a highly creditable sixth place, thanks largely to their standout player, Marky Lunderman. Marky led her team in scoring and steals, and Jerome was confident that she had the potential to play at college level. She's one of the top 10 players in the state right now. I know she's gonna go on and play 
and I think she can play Division One because she's got the height and she's got the athletic ability and the ball handling skills. She's just one of those special athletes that makes my job a lot easier. When, when uh, everything breaks down and I'll tell Marky, you know, you need to score. You, you need to do this. And she does it. And a lot towards the end of the season, I didn't have to say it. She just knew what she had to do. Marky had begun playing the sport in her formative years. I started playing basketball whenever I was five. Basketball is by far the popular sport on here. You drive through Pine Ridge and anywhere and you'll see everyone playing basketball. It's pretty much what people do when they have nothing else to do besides go to school and do homework. They're usually out there playing basketball, having fun. Transworld Sport learned how a large number of the pupils at Red Cloud traveled huge distances to attend school every day. A 100-mile round trip remains the norm for a lot of students. For many, a big incentive in attending is the opportunity to play organized basketball on a regular basis. As well as excelling in the sporting arena, Markey was also gifted academically. If she wasn't to secure a college scholarship as a result of her talents on the court, the teenager hoped that she could do so thanks to her grades. I want to go off, go to college, get a good education, and just be a role model to the young ones here. So I'll probably miss my family and friends, but I see myself staying away for a while, then maybe coming back and starting my own business or something. Home for Marky was about an hour's drive from her school. Let's go. The youngster told us all about her family's proud heritage and how she was descended from Chief Crazy Horse, the legendary Sioux warrior. It was at Marky's home where we met up with another talented teenage basketball player, a young man by the name of Carl Swallow. In 2007, Carl had been a key player on the Red Cloud team, which made it to their first state championship in 11 years. The tournament took place in Sioux Falls, over 350 miles from Pine Ridge. Red Cloud narrowly lost their semi-final game and had to settle for a third place finish. At the time of our visit, the boys' team was coached by Matt Raymer. Hailing from Nebraska, Matt had been at the school for six years, having done part of his teacher training here. He believed that his team could improve on the previous season's performance and bring the state title back to the reservation. On this year's team, when they're young, we, we had a lot of seniors graduate last year. I feel like talent-wise, that, that we're as good as any team that we've ever had. And Matt had particular praise for his star player, Carl Swallow. Carl's an extremely strong kid, you know, physically strong. His skill set along with his strength make him really tough to guard, or, you know, allow him to do a lot of different things on the basketball court, you know what I mean? And we, and we played a lot of different places, and I've, we haven't really seen anybody that's been really, you know, able to stop him consistently. You know, because he can shoot and go to the hoop, or you know, makes his team better. He's just, he's just a really good player. On Pine Ridge, as on the reservations throughout America, the great warrior chiefs of the past are still revered. For the young men on the 2008 Red Cloud team, that warrior's spirit manifested itself every time they stepped onto the basketball court. In the past, there was a lot of tough boys, like Crazy Horse and Sid and Boo and Red Cloud. Today, it's like, it's how we imagine ourselves. Going on to a basketball game and competing, battling against other schools. It's like trying to get the victory, get the job done. Like Maki, Carl was also attracting the attention of a number of colleges. In the U.S., Native Americans still represent less than 1% of students attending colleges. Many talented Indian high school basketball players have all too often found the transition from reservation life to city living tough. 
if you're an inner city kid, if you're inner city, inner city black youth, you know, and you go to college and you're from Chicago and you go to school somewhere else and a kid comes from LA, you have similarities, you know, in your life if you're both from the same kind of setting. Now, if you're a native kid from the reservation and you go to school at, at, a, at a Division One school, chances are there might not be any other native kids at all in the whole in the whole college, let alone in the you know, in the basketball team. So I think that you're really, really alone, you know. I mean, the things that you're used to and things that you know, you know, especially for being from the reservation, aren't here. We left Pine Ridge confident that both Carl and Marky would secure college basketball scholarships. And so it proved. Carl went to a college in Nebraska, and Marky graduated from a college in Wyoming with a degree in business administration. She's now back living and working on the reservation, serving as an inspiration for youngsters to take charge of their own destiny and realize their own hoop dreams. Basketball is our escape. That's our way of uh, showing ourselves our skill. It's one of the few things we have going on this reservation is basketball. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.